talk about a boss bond in the Sokoto state by bandits. When we all know bandits initially, they don't kill people like that, they, they kidnap people to get money. So, what has metamorphosed and turned them into a Pakistani monster that is now trying to kill people just like that for the pleasure of it? Have you asked? For one second, they have women too. They have children too. Have you asked for one minute now what happens to their children when we are bombarding their rulers? What happened to their children when we are bombarding rulers? You are talking about when they kidnap school children. Don't you ask, okay, which school their children go to? Because we don't have answers to this, that's why we are surprised. Well, if we have embraced them as Nigerians and extend to them what we extend to Nigeria, or at least give them hope, just hope, you see a difference. And this is what we learned when we ventured there. It's not an irretractable problem, it can be solved. But we need the right political environment to do it. Many people, like the Italian representative, is talking about military, military actions. We are here for peace. And we have seen that peace can tame this practice time. I have seen it. What we need to do is to build, uh, like the Global Peace Foundation and Vision Africa, what they have been doing around the world, like building homes and schools, giving locals animals to breed, giving them medical attention, planting and engaging the community. This is all what we need to do with the Fulani Arts men to get them piped down and drop their weapons. This is all what we need. And we don't have to wait for government. I have seen it, I have practicalized it. I had a theory and I practicalized it. I went into a Jenjala village, um, village, that is a village between Abuja and Kaduna, in the middle. What where was notorious for armed bandits. That was my first outing. Fifty men came said they are they are abandoning uh, banditry. And I promised them a school. And I went there still to put a foundation. The day I put a foundation, the next day they have already started gathering under the tree, waiting for the school to be completed and they have started studying even before the, father, the, the building was erected. We didn't finish the building not with no plaster, no electrical or anything. They came, they said, please allow us to start using it. Now we have between their women, their men and children, we have 600 students studying there. 600. Just imagine if we can do that in multiple places. You find, you look for a bandit and you will not find. But when you say kill them, this word kill them means kill them with their families. And the next thing they do, because they are primitive, I'm sorry to say, is revenge. So they will come to the world and revenge and kill you. So they are on this revenge mission now, wherever it is. They are massacred in Anambra, they are massacred in Oyo, they are massacred in uh, North Central, they are massacred everywhere. They respect now no religion, they respect no ethnicity. What they want is we must live or we all live together or nobody lives. So we want to change the language, the narrative. Let's engage them, let's bring them from third class citizens to even a second class citizen. And you see the difference. There is no justification at all. There is no justification at all for criminality. No. But let me tell you, every criminal has a justification for his crime. If you don't look into that justification, then you can call.